Welcome back everyone. This statue right here, one of them, uh, well every single one of them is 250,000 vertices and today we're gonna see how many of them old graphics card can handle in Unreal Engine 5. So the day has finally come, the Unreal Engine 5 Early Access is publicly available. Um, funny thing though, they said it's gonna be available in early 2021 and it's nearly midway through the year. It's been already 5 months have passed of the 2021 but finally it's here, uh, everybody can download it and test it out. So today let's have a quick look at the project, uh, at the whole thing straight away, how it looks by default. Uh, this is the way it looks uh, pretty much. I think I maybe I enabled details panels, I'm not quite sure. Looks a little bit different, but if you are familiar with Unreal Engine 4, the Unreal Engine 5 is gonna be very easy to get used to because most of the things are pretty much in the same locations. So we still have the world outliner over here, the details panel, the world settings. Obviously you can again move everything just like it was pretty much the same as in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, at the top, again, we have the play button, just like before. If you click this thing, we get all the other modes. Uh, then over here, we have the regular modes that were for like the landscape, foliage, painting, uh, modeling, brush editing, this all stuff. And also we have the content browser now is down below over here, as you can see. Uh, you can also enable, it can go up and down and you can enable, disable that by using the uh, keyboard shortcut control space. Now, I know a lot of you might be always clicking somewhere roughly over here in Unreal Engine 4 to open the editor and project and world settings and all that stuff. Uh, you can find this whole thing just like you could before in the edit button. So here we have the pro uh, editor and project settings and the plugins and all that stuff available over here. But that's not what we are here for. We are here today to test out how this whole thing is going to work on mid to low end machines because First and foremost, I'm running one of those, <laughs> so I don't have any 3090 mega giga super turbo ultra graphics card. All I have is an R9 390 uh, Asus Strix Overclock 8 gigabytes graphics card from way back in the day. Still kicking, still doing its job, and most of the people who legitimately like play games and have fun at them will probably have a little bit of an older system because probably most of you have seen the prices of graphics cards today. Uh, so let's see what we can do to actually make games in Unreal Engine 5 for those mid to low end PCs because by default if I hit play my FPS is 33 and it's just it's just not gonna cut it because like this is a default template and uh, yeah I'm not sure what to tell you guys maybe my CPU is not good enough maybe my graphics card is not good enough uh, I'm assuming it's probably the graphics card because if we have a quick look over here you can see my GPU is spiking up whenever I'm inside of the game but my CPU is down here same goes for my ram only 16 gigs only halfway used even though i have unreal engine 4 opened as well and i'm recording and all this stuff only the gpu is actually taking a really big hit and actually right now it wasn't even at 100 percent previously when i was testing this my gpu was constantly at 100 percent while i was in the editor so that's probably my gpu not being able to handle this so let's see what we can do in order to basically increase the performance now i didn't find uh, I didn't come up with these solutions what I did was I googled a lot of things and I found this reddit post which gives us a lot of information about how to increase the performance of Unreal Engine uh, 5 now one of the extra things was the nanite disabling the nanite which I think like if you need to disable nanite which we are not going to do we don't need to do that if you are going to disable Nanite, then why are you even using Unreal Engine 5? Uh, stick with the Unreal Engine 4. And also, a lot of people are now thinking like, oh, maybe I should jump to Unreal Engine 5 like straight away. No, it's an early access build. Just wait a little bit till it's fully released and then start thinking about it. It's probably not the wisest decision to jump straight into it right away because I can pretty much guarantee you're a solo developer or a very tiny team of developers that are watching my video. I guarantee no EA, no Ubisoft, none of those people are watching these videos. 
you're a small developer, just chill a bit, use Unreal Engine 4 for a little bit longer and just experiment with Unreal Engine 5 to see what you can get, get out of it. So let's go ahead and let's start increasing the performance. So we're going to need to go to the project settings and disable a couple of things. So I'm going to disable the Lumen. So I'm not going to have this real time lighting thingy. Unfortunately, my GPU just simply cannot handle it. So I must disable that. So if I look for Lumen, I have these options right here. So I have the dynamic global illumination method. I'm going to go from Lumen. Uh, I believe this was has to be changed to none. And then the reflection mode has to be changed to screen space. So let me double check that. So we have the global illumination to none. And then the reflection mode, yes, is going to the screen mode. So uh, screen space rather. So that's that. OK, so we're good with this. Now also let's look for the shadows. So we look for shadow and we have the shadow map method is now virtual shadow maps beta which needs to go back to the regular shadow maps and this will also increase the performance and one more thing if we look for super we can disable the temporal super resolutions enables in the ue unreal engine 5 so we're going to disable that and at this point we should be at a way higher FPS. So now we're nearly at 100 FPS. Uh, strange though, because I would have assumed I should have had some better FPS. So let's do some adjustments. So let's start testing. I want to get millions of polygons into this thing and see if actually what they promised actually works on the low end PCs. Obviously, it's probably going to work on the 3090s and all that big stuff. And probably you can handle a lot of polygons on those uh, big end graphics cards regardless. Uh, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to rebuild the lighting since as of right now uh, I disabled the lumen I must rebuild the lighting because well I don't have this real-time dynamic lighting now luckily for us I feel like Unreal Engine 5's uh, lighting building is way quicker so it took just a couple of seconds obviously there wasn't anything to build but and as you can see now my FPS is pretty all right it's interesting though because Previously, with the same settings, I had 120 FPS easily. I had exactly the same performance in Unreal Engine 4 as I had in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, so I can't seem to get my FPS way above, like really above 100. But I'm assuming maybe that's because I have two engines opened and also I'm recording at the same time. Discord, the browser, all that stuff is open. So maybe my PC just can't handle it. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's start comparing the actual thing that we are all really interested in is like, can we really place down uh, that many polygons and vertices on the map as they were promising and let's see if that is even ha possible on a low-end pc uh, so first let's go ahead and let's try to mess with unreal engine 4 for a little bit i have this model with 250 vertices nearly uh, nearly 500,000 triangles and i have this model in both of the engines so real quick let's go ahead and let's place a couple of these guys down so I forgot to uh, pre-record the, the what I had FPS before, but it was at 120. It's at 120 by default for me always. Um, and over here, well, I have 10 statues. And as you can see, my FPS is 70, 80-ish FPS by just placing 10 statues and rebuilding the lighting, of course. So let's go ahead and let's try to double this whole amount up. So there we go. The lighting has been rebuilt. And as you can see, my FPS is down bad. It's nearly down to 30. So it's 37, 36. Uh, obviously, I'm just looking at the same spot. So the FPS isn't really going to change much. But as you can see, so from 40 of these statues, I have only 36, 37 FPS. Let's go ahead and let's test out the Unreal Engine 5 on this one. So let's bring in one of the statues again the same exact statue and i'm going to make again uh, let's let's go straight directly into 40 instances so the lighting has been rebuilt uh, now these are the default settings i haven't really done anything yet so you will see a pretty same result so i have 33 fps with having the same amount of vertices on the level now you might be wondering like where why why like it should have been better 
yeah, it does have to be better. And the reason for it is that Nanite is not enabled by default. So what you want to do is go ahead and pop your asset up. So I have my statue right here. And as soon as I open that, I have this Nanite settings menu over here. I need to click enable and then apply these changes. And instantly you will see that the triangles and vertices will drop in this menu over here. We can hit save on that, close it all off. Uh, and then we need to rebuild the lighting again because obviously the, there has been some changes and it's no longer working exactly the same. But once we will rebuild our lighting, which should be fairly quick and simple, we should have a huge FPS increase. And there we go. As you can see, that, that, went, that went well really quick. There was no cuts. The model is a bit scuffed. And as you can see, instantly 86, 87 FPS by having exactly the same amount. So we have, uh, I believe it's, it's roughly 10 million vertices and 20 million uh, triangles. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's bring this to the extreme. So we have 10 million, we have 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, we have 50 million vertices. Let's go ahead, let's copy this once more. So we have 100 million vertices. So let's go ahead and let's rebuild the lighting once more. So I have added 10 times as much and I lost maybe 10, 20 FPS. So this is 100 million vertices and 200 million uh, triangles on my screen right now. So uh, like this is this is not enough. Like I want to try even more. So the statues have been placed, the light has been rebuilt and I present to you 1 billion vertices on my screen and this is also 2 billion triangles on my screen right now. I'm getting 42, 40, 41, 42, 43 FPS right now. Uh, obviously, keep in mind I'm recording. I have an old graphics card. I have Unreal Engine 4 opened in the background and this is testing it in the editor so probably in the game itself, in the finished build, the FPS is going to be way higher. And also, I rarely ever play games at highest settings because these are the highest settings for graphics. Uh, so you can imagine what you will be able to do with this Nanite technology because this is 1 billion vertices. Like, why would you want to have 1 billion vertices visible at all times? Probably there's not going to be a lot of situations like that. But as you can see over here, this is entirely possible. So at the same time, while the Unreal Engine 5 could handle 4,000 instances of this statue, so 1 billion vertices at the same time, we received 30-ish, 40-ish FPS. Over here, we only have 40 instances. So, so like two zeros less and we are getting the same, if not even worse, FPS. Now, obviously, it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't try to see if my GPU can explode. So uh, I bring to you uh, 10 billion triangles. So this is five times as much as I just sh showed you. Now, obviously, my GPU is struggling with this, as you can see, only 26 FPS. But trust me, like, who would like do something like this? Every single one of these models uh, originally is 250,000 vertices. Uh, I see no reason why any game level <laughs> should have anything like this. But as you can see, even an old hardware can handle this much detail on the screen with this many models. I have no idea what Nanite is doing in the background. Obviously, it's something like LOD system. I'm assuming probably there's like no other way how this can work because I was getting roughly the same FPS with 40 instances and here is 20,000 instances of this mesh uh, which is just insane to me and yeah thanks to Unreal Engine 5 for uh, for bringing this out to us for creating this technology uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how far it goes this is still an early access build and later this is probably going to get even better and obviously with newer GPUs uh, this is going to perform even nicer luckily this worked out pretty well and yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe join my discord leave a comment blah 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 all that good stuff yeah uh, see you in the next one